Hey guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. And today we're gonna do a similar type mold with the Ultra um, Ultra Minnow Jig. We are gonna make a different one. I ordered a bigger size so that we can make some bigger musky jigs. <gasps> the biggest I can make before was an ounce and a half. With this one, I can do two, three, and four ounce. These things are massive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pour, and we're just gonna use eight ounce hooks. I did buy some nine ounce hooks to try with these, but I mean, look at that hook. That hook is, is it's sick how big that thing is. So we're gonna try that. This mold is specific to the eight, the eight dot, but we might try a nine on the bigger one. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. I, I think I'm just gonna stick with in eight out or an eight out for now and we'll just go ahead and try it so let me get this mold um, with the hooks in it ready to go and then we'll pour it and see how we make out so like what i said guys before was this is the ounce and a half that i squeezed a nine knot uh, ewg type hook into with i've got a bait keeper here as well i'm not going to do the bait keeper right now i just want to pour these and see how they go let me flip this upside down so you can see it a little bit better but this is the mold. And again, it does a two, a three, and a four ounce. I guess I did have it the right way around before. Sorry about that, guys. And it uses a um, Mustad 91715 um, type jig hook. So I got some of those. I got some eight ounces that are eight outs, and that's what actually goes in this mold. I did buy some nines, but they're pretty big. The wire size is a lot bigger than these. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to squeeze one into these ones or not. So it might just have to be an eight dot. Um, on a minor note, I have these older jig molds from uh, one of my buddies gave them to me. And I can, I'm having a terrible time trying to find the hooks that go to these. So if anybody knows, these are the Herders 4G2 and 4G3, I believe. I've got one bigger one back here, 4G3. I would really like to make these in a video for you guys and show you what those old old school type lead molds are like. I think there's some flashing issues from what I read and stuff like that, but I'd like for to pour them on a video just so you guys can see them. I'm going to go ahead and maybe order some of these hooks, these 91 715s in some lower sizes to see what fits these molds. So let's get back to this. I got some lead heated up. Um, I got some lead heating up right now. We're going to go ahead and pop all three of these in and do all three sizes just to see what they come out like. All right, guys. So we're ready to pour our Ultra Minnow jigs, our big ones. And I've got this ready to go. I got my hooks in there. I've got this heated up all good. We're going to go ahead and try to do all of these cavities. Let me just bleed a little bit of lead off just to make sure we're clean. We are. We're going to go ahead and let that drip. And then we're going to fill up these three cavities. Now these are pretty big cavities, so I'd expect them to take a little bit to fill up. Yep. What I'm doing is I'm sticking that nozzle in there, filling it up the best I can, and then pulling it out a little bit. This one is pouring really slow, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's something wrong with that port, but that one I wouldn't expect to come out very good. So, let's see. Okay, this is the first time opening it up. Here we go. 
Yep, I kind of expected that to come out kind of crappy, and they came out terrible. Look at So you can see, I'm missing holes. The tail didn't fill in all the way. So I'm going to have to do a better job. Probably I'm going to have to use the um, Arsenal's dropout. Even after heated up, these didn't fill in all the way. These are a big mold, so let's try it again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this Arsenal, Frankfurt Arsenal dropout, and I'm going to coat each cavity with a light coating of dropout. And you don't forget you got to do both sides. Okay, so let's try that this time. So we got it sprayed with Arsenal Dropout. We're going to go ahead and put our hooks back in. Which I'm just reusing the same hooks from the last um, thing we just did. I just dipped them into the lead pot to get all the crap off them. Okay. Close it up. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up again on top of the lead. But at the same time, I'm also going to bring you guys over here and show you that I cleaned out the nozzle a little bit on my lead pot so a lot more is coming out so the thing the deal is is that once in a while these nozzles they get really clogged up with some gunk once in a while especially if you're running, running low on lead so what I just did was just empty the hole out a little bit and then I'm just gonna let it run let let a bunch of lead hot lead run through there then that way it'll it'll uh, clean it up real good okay so we are ready to try it again just as a little safety I'm just gonna throw a little bit more lead through it we're good it's dripping really heavy right now so I'm gonna quick try to make this fast put that tip in there and I'm just gonna let it fill up that way it's pushing all that lead there we go came out the top and I'm just gonna leave it there until I see the lead come out the top do the same thing with the third one. That's a pretty big cavity, so I'll put my cup back underneath. We got them poured, maybe a little over poured this time, but let's see how much of a difference that made just from spraying that Arsenal's dropout in there. It usually does a pretty good job. So let's see what we got here. Get you guys at a good angle. All right, you guys ready? Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, we must have some lead stuck in the. Yeah, we do have some lead stuck in the in the thing there. There we go, guys. Every single one of them came out almost perfect. I say almost because I haven't seen the other side yet. And I also have these stuck on the sprues. There we go. That one came loose of the sprue. That one looks great. Where the sprue came off, it's a little bit of a hole, but we'll uh, we'll sand that down. The paint will probably fill that in anyway. The big one, the four ouncer, yep, he's good too. And the two ouncer, which is the one that we're we're going to concentrate on this time. So those came out pretty good. So again, Arsenal dropout is your friend. There are Frankfurt Frankfurt. Arsenal dropout. This stuff is amazing, essential for having lead molds, especially those ones that are giving you a real tough time trying to fill in some of the spots. Um, I have a lot of issues with the underspins that I make. I have to hit those with Arsenal quite a bit. These I have to hit quite a bit. The uh, grass jigs I have to do that quite a bit on. So there's, there's a couple molds that you have to have to kind of keep going with the dropout. And it works great. It really does. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this one off if I can. I'm going to try to, there we go, try to get close to that one so I can get a clean cut on There we go. Nice clean cut on that one. And then a nice clean cut on this one. Yep, perfect. So there's our three jig heads. 
and now we're gonna have to paint them okay so here is our two ounce um, jig head here that's our ultra ultra minnow jig head i believe yes ultra minnow jig head <clears throat> two ounce huge eight out hook this thing is mammoth we're going to heat it up really good we're going to put a color on this and today i'm going to use black neon again like what i did in the, the last video These are some very big baits, so they need a little bit to heat up. As long as it takes the heat well, I'm going to plug in my bubbler here, get my fluid bed going. And it make, makes a mess usually when it first starts up, so... Okay, so hopefully this is getting nice and hot. We're gonna check it. Yeah, she's warm, but she's not, not hot, hot yet. So we're gonna just keep applying heat to it and we want everything to be hot. So we want the, the back end to be hot where the collar is gonna go for the skirt. Just wanna make sure everything is nice and warm. I think we're pretty close here. Let me just keep some heat on it. And then I'm gonna show you the fluid bed here. Okay, so she's ready. We're gonna dip her in to the black neon. I was afraid that was gonna happen. I got it all the way down to the bottom and it's not deep enough. So what we're gonna have to do is get a brush and we're gonna have to brush on To the collar part. And then we'll we'll double check it. Now I'm gonna bring it back over to the heat. Get it all heated up, see if we missed any spots. But I think that one nice dip did a good job getting everything except for the point. So I may need to make a longer tube. A longer fluid bed tube for these to go in. Try not to hit hit your heat gun there. I may dip this one more time. It's a pretty thin coat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna dip this one more time because it looks like it didn't really fill in um, the scales on one side. So I'm actually gonna hit that with some real good heat. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip it one more time. Knock off the excess. Put it back over on the heat. Oh, that looks awesome. Hopefully I didn't get too much paint on there. Hopefully it doesn't run too much. But I think that is going to be spectacular, guys. Oh, man, look at that. That's awesome. Big bait, a lot of detail. I may have missed a little bit here on the tail. I'm just going to drop a little bit of extra on there and get it heated up. Make sure I didn't miss any pieces. Ah, I think we're good. Now we're golden. So let me bake that. 350 in the toaster oven. I like to use my little toaster oven to bake jigs. That way I'm not using the oven to keep everything kind of separate from food items. So let's go ahead and bake that 350 for 20 minutes and we'll come back and make up a skirt, put some eyeballs on it, and probably seal it in a little bit with some uh, UV clear coat. What's shaking bacon? Looks like we're getting those baked for a little bit. 350 for 20 minutes. All right, so we got our jig head painted. Looks great. But we're gonna go ahead and put some eyeballs on it. And then we're gonna put some clear coat on it. And like the last video, 
I'm going to use some UV resin that I got from Amazon. And we're going to see how well that does. This is the second bait that I'm going to be using with that UV stuff. But first I've got to glue some eyeballs onto my bait. And I had some, there it is. I was going to say I had some, had some super glue right here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dab, dab of glue there. And this is a seven millimeter eye, which might be a little bit too big for that. Eh, I think it looks good. What do you think? I think it looks pretty, pretty slick. And then we're just going to go ahead and do the second side. Okay. We got the second one on. So both sides are on. I'm going to give that a minute to, to dry up. And while that's doing that, I've got my UV clear coat ready to go. I'll put these eyes back together here. Put my glue away. And this is what we're using, again, from Amazon. It's like a Japanese or Chinese, I think it's probably Chinese, uh, UV resin. So we're going to go ahead, like I said, I just gave that a second. It should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and dip this in. Decent amount. And I'm going to go right over top of, oh, guess what? Our glue wasn't set enough on our eye. That's okay. I think I got it. I'm just going to leave it alone. And I'm going to go ahead and just paint around it because we got plenty of resin on there. Okay, and we're going to go to the other side, same thing, I apologize if you hear any yelling in the background, my wife's upstairs probably yelling at my kids, that happens quite fre frequently in this house, and I'm just going to put a light coat on this one, I'm not going to put a super huge gobbing amount on this thing, I don't want it to be... Um, I don't want it to be running too much and that kind of thing. So, okay, so we got that set up and I'm gonna go ahead and go put that in the UV tank. All right, so we got this beautiful jig painted, got it out of the uh, oven and everything. And we put, a, we put a nice clear coat on it, the UV resin clear coat. We're gonna try that. And again, this is a two ounce, I believe a two ounce uh, Ultra Minnow Jig. Yeah, this is the two ounce one. And uh, came out great. So what I'm going to do is I threw together a, a quick uh, skirt real quick so that we could just put this thing together, see how it looks. And um, then I could just show you the finished product because that's all we had left on it was just to put, put, a, put a jig skirt on it, which is going to be a lot easier in the last video. I can tell you that. So a little bit of mix there, black and red. Just make sure the skirt lays down the way we want it to. And then it just pushes up over that little collar. And you may need to sit here and kind of tweak it a little bit to get the, get the uh, skirt to lay down the way you want it. But that's it. And I didn't put any long extensions on this one, which I probably will in the future. But that hooks is pretty sweet. So let's get let's go ahead. I'm gonna get a seven inch. Uh, I'm gonna get a seven inch grub by Epic Bait Molds, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on it because I want to see what it looks like with the grub on it. So this is gonna be an interesting hook. This is just kind of a straight shank hook. I'm gonna try to keep this as straight as I can. Probably come up by the tail here. Yeah, there we go. Push that on the best I can. And there you go, guys. That actually looks pretty darn good. That is a sweet jig right there. 
And if you wanted to, and look how big that hook is, that's kind of perfect. And if you really wanted to, you probably could hang off a treble, treble kind of uh, trailer there just to give you a little added effect or maybe tie a treble down here somehow to the top line, maybe stick it in the bottom and that way you've got some extra hookage. But that looks pretty darn sweet. So I'm going to leave that alone for the picture when I do the picture, the final picture. So eight-aught hook with a two-aught um, head. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet musky bait. I think that's what I'm going to end up selling these as, is the musky baits if I sell them. So pretty awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video today. Just a short, quick video on how to make those musky jigs again. I mean, this thing is, it's pretty killer. The, the UV resin is really what I'm trying to test too. I've got two different types. I'm going to probably go ahead and just test this one first to see how good it ends up. Got it off of Amazon. Like I said, I'll link all that stuff below, but that is a pretty cool jig right there. It's big, but it is a cool, cool jig. So pretty awesome. Kind of an upscale version of the first video I made on making musky jigs, except now I'm just kind of branching out a little bit. So I'm going to be making some of these. I'm going to be making some of those new ones that I made with the the uh, no roll sinkers and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing a couple, couple different medium, I should say like musky sized jigs, or maybe even use them in salt water. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to be making some heavier stuff for some of the guys that fish for bigger game. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I love this new mold. This is the ultra minnow jig mold that has three cavities, one two ounce, one three ounce, and one four ounce. That's some pretty big jigs. And that's the part number. I will put a picture of this in um, at the end of the video so you can get a better look at it just so you know which one it is. And I, I get, as, as always, I will link everything down below. I get most of my stuff from Barlow's Tackle and uh, we're part of the affiliate program there. So I get, if you guys use the bait and tackle um, coupon code, I get a, a little bit of a kickback. You guys don't get any discount, but I get a little bit of a kick uh, kickback so that you guys will support the channel. So it supports me, gives me a little bit extra so I can, again, so I can uh, test new products for you guys when new molds come out, that kind of thing. Or if I decide to make, just make something different out of the blue like this, right? And making something just something you haven't seen before. So Please help me out. Go to Barlow's Tackle, buy, pick up some of this stuff or anything else. Powder paints. They got everything you can imagine for tackle making. Worm, plastic worms, hardware, uh, terminal tackle. They got it all. So please check them out. Use bait, bait and tackle at the end. B8N tackle, all one word. And uh, it really helps support what I'm trying to do for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember, keep on baiting.